Hi, it's Lisa Cunio, and welcome to my scrapbook table. Today's layout is using this sketch from Janet Fritz. You'll see a better look at it here in a moment. It's for Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. I have simple vintage cottage fields papers that I'm going to use. I've had this for a while and really haven't done much with it, so I'm excited to use those. I have these three photos, which eventually I cut down a little bit. And next to this page will be that pocket page there that you see. I have the sweet title, which is perfect because these are three desserts that we ate and most of the ones on the other page are desserts as well. And there's some cardstock that I might use. I thought I might use, but I end up not. Here's a better look at that sketch from Janet Fritz. Lots of layers, which I love. I'm, um, I ended up not planning out quite well enough, so mine's a little different than Janet's, but it still has that basic layery look with the papers going across there and the title in about the same place as hers. So I just pencil off where I think those layers are going to go. I should have made that block a little wider in hindsight, but it turns out okay. I decided I'm going to do some mixed media. I'm going to use this stencil that I picked up from the free table at a crop I was at recently. And I use um, some Distress Oxide inks. This one is the taffy color. I can't remember the exact name. The other one I add is ripe persimmon. There we go. And I just add some white modeling paste. There's what it looks like. It's a huge container. <laughs> I've barely made a dent in it. So it's time to, to use that up. It'll take me a while. It takes a few tries here before I get the color that I want. I have to add ink a few more times. And I'm going for just a pale peach color that I think will um, complement the papers nicely and just be enough color to it to show up on this cardstock that I'm using. So there you see the pale peach. And I just start spreading it around. And I don't have you watch all of this. Eventually I turn my camera off and go ahead and finish. Um, one spot doesn't turn out very well, but that ends up covered, so it doesn't really matter. I like doing this sort of thing. It doesn't always turn out as well as I would like, but I still think it's fun to play with the modeling paste or texture paste or whatever you happen to have. And I love the moment when you peel the stencil off and you can see what it looks like under there. And so this has dried for a day or two now. We had a busy weekend, so I just kind of had to put this on hold for a bit. I used the extra to put some um, through a different stencil on that black cardstock that I tucked away for. I'll put it on a card someday. Now I'm thinking about the patterns I want to use for the layers. And I start with this peach color and there's a black dark gray polka dot on it and that's my base layer. If I had planned well, I could have gutted some of these layers and um, saved them for another project, but I just, I, I couldn't wrap my brain around how to make that happen. I needed to get some glued down, so I just went ahead and glued them down, and I did not gut any of these, and that's okay. I've had this stuff for a long time, and I'm just glad to be getting it down on paper. And there you can see the lay layers I've done. I did a floral, um, kind of a neutral, and then the blue butterflies. And here's where I decide I need to cut these down more. So two of them end up two and a half by three and a half, and one is just a tad larger. Um, they are creme brulee on the left a chocolate raspberry tart in the center, and key lime pie on the right. And all of them were absolutely amazing. And I decide that I'm going to fussy cut these florals. And I have two pieces of this paper. Oh, that my title's gonna go there. 
I have two pieces of this paper and I end up fussy cutting all the florals out and using them um, just to create bases for my clusters. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm thinking, I have my little sketch of the sketch right there. And I'm thinking about where I'm going to put some of these foam stickers. And I have some other florals. I have some chipboard, which that piece ends up not making it. It just doesn't, doesn't seem to go. And I'm looking through. I had a whole bag of ephemera that goes with this. And here's where I decide, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the fussy cutting. It does take a while, but that's okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And again, I don't make you watch all of this fussy cutting. I'm not very good at it, and it takes me a while, so voila. There's the magic. The fussy cutting is done. At least this piece. I put it up here, and I layer the title on top of that. I have a little flower there to tuck under so that it doesn't end quite so abruptly. I think this is, yes, this is where I go ahead and adhere the title. There we go. And there, I've done some other fussy cutting. I added a few florals on the right and a large floral block on the left. I'll have to trim those edges off in a moment. And now I'm adding a few chipboard pieces, um, a flower, some hearts, a couple words, maybe only one word sticker. I'm trying to balance it all out a bit. There, I make sure there are some hearts and florals in each of my clusters. I love these tweezers. I don't know how I ever scrapbooked without them. I use them all the time. And I think I'm just about done. No, maybe not. Some more hearts are going to go on there and another flower. In a moment, you'll see that I'm going to use some products from Shimmers. I have my Clementine, which is a peach color. I love their names. So every time I see this color, it reminds me of the song I sang when I was a kid with my grandpa. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. So that always makes me smile. And here I'm getting ready to do the splatters. So I'm covering up my photos. I just pulled some scraps out of my trash. That's underneath my table here. And so I'm going to use this Creamies My Clementine. And I also use one of the sprays called Penny in Your Pocket, I believe. And I cover up the title too because I didn't want the splatters on there. It didn't bother me if splatters got on some of the other embellishments. I just didn't want them on the title. I have no idea why. And I go ahead and I do the peach color, the My Clementine. There you go, showing you the lid. And here's the other one. And I sprayed some water in there, and I just start flinging it on. Takes me a while. First I test it on there just to make sure the color is going to be what I think it is. This is the first time I'm using this one other than when I created a little swatch. And I just start... putting it on there. It takes me a while. I do it a whole bunch. And frankly, I should have stopped there. But I didn't. Because I really wanted to use this penny in your pocket. I love the color. I bought it for some specific photos I know I'm going to be scrapbooking. 
and um, I don't know I just didn't feel like it did what I wanted on here I have it laying in a pizza box so that I don't get it all over my table um, and now that I'm looking at it a few hours after I finish the page, I do like it. It's just not what I had envisioned, but that's okay. I still love the page. I love the colors. I love these papers. And I really like the um, stenciling that I did. So there's, you can see the shimmer a little bit. And in the still shots, you might be able to see it a little better. I did go ahead and add some journaling. It just says, we had amazing food on our cruise, especially desserts, as you can plainly see. We also had a wonderful meal at Giovanni's table. We had bread with herbed oil, seafood alfredo, bronzino, and creme brulee. And finally, I decided the... I don't know why I decided this. But I added some of the creamies around the stenciling. I don't know. It just felt like it needed something to me. I don't know why. And I am happy with the final result. Though I think I'd have been just as happy if I had stopped with the creamy splatters. But here it is and you'll see more in the still shots. Thanks for joining me today. Goodbye.